longer. Nor will that you not let me go with you. Now your patience no. The stars shine darkly over me. The malignancy of my fate might perhaps distemper yours. Therefore, I shall brave of you your leave, that I might bear my demons alone. Let me were a bad recompense for your love to lay any of them on you. Let me yet know whether you are bound. No, sooth, sir. My determined voyage is mere extravagant. You must know of me then. My name is Sebastian, which I called Rodrigo. My father was that Sebastian of Messaline, whom I know you have heard of. He left behind him myself and a sister, both born within an hour. The heavens had been so pleased would we had so ended. But you altered that, sir. For some hour before you took me from the breach of the sea was my sister drowned. Lady, sir, though it was said by many that she much resembled me, is yet of many accounted beautiful. She bore a mind that envy could not but call fair. She is drowned already with salt water, sir, though I seem to drown her remembrance again with you. Pardon me, sir, for your bad entertainment. Oh. oh. Good Antonio, give me your trouble. If you will not murder me for my love, oh, let me be your servant. If you will not undo what you have done, that is, kill him whom you have recovered, desire it not. Fare ye well at once. My bosom is full of kindness, and I am yet so near the manner of my mother that upon the least occasion more, mine eyes will tell tales of me. I am bound to Count Orsino's court. Farewell. The gentleness of all the gods go with thee. I have many enemies in Orsino's court, else would I very shortly see thee there. Ah, uh, but come when may. I do adore thee so. Dangerous to all seems sport, and I will go. Were you not even now with the Countess Olivia? Even now, sir. On a moderate pace, I have since arrived, but hither. Oh, uh, well, she returns this ring to you, sir. You may have saved me my pain if you are just taking it with you yourself. Oh, and moreover, she says to let your lord know with desperate assurance she will none of him, and never be so hearty as to come again unless to let her know how he takes it. Receive it, sir. She took the ring of me, all none of it. Come, sir. You threw it peevishly at her, and it's her will that it be returned, sir. If it be worth stooping for, there it lies in your eye. Otherwise, it is the heart. I left no ring with her. What means this lady? Fortune forbid my outside have not charmed her. She made good view of me, indeed so much that sure me thought her eyes had lost her tongue, for she did speak in starts distractedly. She loves me, sure. The cunning of her passion invites me in this churlish messenger, none of my lord's ring. Why, he sent her none. I am the man. Will it be so as tis? Poor lady, she were better love a dream. How of this fad? My mask 
monster loves her dearly, and I, poor monster, fond as much on him, and she mistaken seems to dote on me. What will become of this? As I am man, my state is desperate for my master's love, as I am woman. Now, alas, the day. What thriftless sighs shall poor Olivia breathe? Oh, time, thou must untangle this, not I. It is too hard a knot for me to untie. Approach, Sir Andrew! Hey. Does not our life consist of the four elements? Oh, in good faith, so they say, but I think it rather consists of uh, eating and, and drinking. Oh, thou art a scholar. Let us therefore eat and drink. Marion, I say, a stoop of wine. Oh, here comes the fool in good faith. How now, dear hearts? You ever see the picture of we three? <laughs> Welcome, ass. Now, let's have a catch. By my troth, the fool has an excellent breast. I had rather than 40 shillings I had such a leg to, and so sweet a breath to sing as the fool has. Now, a song. Come on, there's sixpence for ya. Let's have a song. There's a testral of me too. Oh, if one night give a... Do you have a love song or a song of good life? A, a love song, a, a love song. I, I, I care not for a good life. Every wise man's son doth know Both can sing high and low Oh, excellent to good faith! To the pretty sweet and journeys the end with lovers the meeting Whoa, 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 whoa. What is love? What is love? Tis not hereafter Present or present or present laughter What's to come is still unsure Youth won't endure, youth won't endure Whoa, indeed in the lay the light no plenty Come kiss me, oh, come kiss me, sweet and twenty What's to come is still I'm sure You won't endure, you won't endure Oh, oh I'm a lifluous voice as I am a knight Contagious breath A very sweet and contagious breath to hear by the nose it is dulcet in contagion oh shall we make the welkin dance indeed shall we rouse the night owl in a catch that will draw three souls out of one weaver shall we do that and you love me let's do it i am dog at catch hi lady sir and some dogs will catch well most certain uh, let our catch be a uh, uh, thou knave hold thy peace thou knave knight I shall be constrained in it to call thee knave knight. Though it is not the first time I have constrained one to call me knave. Begin, fool. Uh, uh, let's begin with uh, 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 hold thy peace. Well, I shall never begin if I hold my peace. Good in faith. Come, begin. And don't act the knave. What a caterwauling do you keep here? If my lady have not called up her steward Malvolio and bid him turn you out of doors, and never trust me. Three merry men be we. <laughs> Am not I constant genuous? Am I not of her blood? Ah, Tilly Valley lady! There dwelt a man in Babylon. Lady, lady. <laughs> Drew me makes an admirable fooling. Aye, he does well enough if he be disposed, and so do I, too. He does it with better grace, but I do it more naturally. Oh, the twelfth day of December! For the love of God, peace! Are ye masters mad? Have ye no wit, manners, nor honesty, but to gabble like tinkers at this time of night? Is there no respect of place, persons, nor time in you? <laughs> we do keep time, sir, in our catches. Ha <laughs> ha, snack up. Sir Toby, I must be round with you. 
My lady bade me tell you that though she harbors you as a kinsman, she's nothing allied to your disorders. If you can separate yourself from your misdemeanors, you are welcome to the house. If not, and it would please you to take leave of her, she is very willing to bid you farewell. Farewell, dear. His eggs are almost done. Is it even so? But I'll never die. Sir Toby, there you lie. <laughs> this is very good of you. Shall I bid him go? And what if you do? Shall I bid him go and spare not? No, no, dare not. <laughs> A scoop of wine, Mariah! <laughs> Mistress Mary, if you prize my lady's favor at anything more than contempt, you would not give means for this uncivil rule. She shall know of it by this hand. Go shake your ears. A toy as good a deed as to drink when a man's a hungry to challenge him in the field and then to break a promise with him and make a fool of him. Do it, knight. I'll write thee a challenge, or I'll deliver thy indignation to him by word of mouth. <laughs> Sweet Sir Toby, be patient for tonight. Since the youth of the Counts was today with thy lady, she is much out of quiet. For Monsieur Malvolio, <laughs> let me alone with him. If I do not gull him into a nay word and make a common recreation of him, do not think I have wit enough to lie straight in my bed. I know I can do it. Uh, possess us! Uh, possess us! Tell us something of him! Mary, sir, sometimes he is a kind of Puritan, the devil a Puritan that he is, or anything constantly. The best persuaded of himself, so crammed as he thinks with excellencies, that it is his grounds of faith that all that look on him love him <laughs> and on that vice in him will my revenge find notable cause to work what wilt thou do i will drop in his way some obscure epistles of love wherein by the color of his beard the shape of his leg the manner of his gait the expression of his eye forehead and complexion, he will find himself most feelingly personated. I can write very like my lady, your niece. On a forgotten matter, we can hardly make distinction of our hands. Oh, excellent. I smell a device. I have it in my nose too. <laughs> he shall think by the letters that that will write that they come from my niece. And that she's in love with him! <laughs> My purpose is indeed a horse of that color. Oh, and your horse would make him an ass. Ass, I doubt not. Oh, twill be admirable. Sport Royal, I warrant you. <laughs> I know my physic will work with him. I will plant you two and let the fool make a third where he should find the letter. Observe his construction of it. For tonight, to bed and dream on the event. Farewell! <laughs> oh, let us to bed. Thou hast need sin for more money. Oh, if, if I cannot recover your niece, I am a... I'm a far way out. Sin for more money, knight. If thou not hast her in the inn, call me cut. If I do not, never trust me. Take it how you will. Come, come, I'll go burn some sack. Tis too late to go to bed now. Come, knight, come, knight.